God, man. Oh, my God, man. Paula, man. Oh, my God, man. What are we going to do, man? Paula's gone, man. Fuck. Paula got kidnapped last time, man. It was brutal. She's gone. I don't know where the fuck she's at. So this time on Earthbound, we're going to do what we can to find our friend Paula. I mean, after all, she's done for us, you know. All those, you know, PSI freezes, all those PSI fires, you know, that teddy bear that she had in Tucson, you know. She's done a lot for us. She's a good gal, that one. Um, we got to find her. Um, but I kind of need to, you know, ease my, my weary head here, so I'm going to fight this fucking dude. That's not what I wanted to do. You know, what, what better place to do it than the cafe? You know, get me all fucking jittered up on caffeine. I know when I'm going through grief, that's what I do usually. I just throw back some fucking Red Bull and shit, you know? We've actually been here before, uh, Jackie's Cafe. We've talked to these guys, and they don't have anything too interesting to say, but... Uh, fuck your apples, dude. I shouldn't even talk to you. Yeah, you're not funny. You're a loser. You're a chump, okay? You're day drinking in a bar. I would never do that. Ever. Never. Not have I ever done that. Uh, but this lady has something to say. There's a loud noise outside. It must be the seventh inning stretch. And the fans are singing, take me out to the ball game at the stadium. Interesting. Uh-huh. Okay. Some sort of loud noise. I didn't hear anything. What the fuck? What's going on here? There's a person lying on the ground. I wonder if he's... I, I think we know that guy. He doesn't look like a nice man. Well, you know, looks can be deceiving. Don't be so judgmental. God damn it. Yeah, a corpse? Oh my god. Oh my god. No, yeah. What about you, dude? Hey, man. Don't cut in front of me. If you give me something, I'll let you have my spot. Oh, I guess, man. I don't have a lot. I don't have shit, really, to give you. I don't want to give you nothing. You're an asshole, <laughs> really. Just let me see. I'm concerned for this guy. I guess you can have my rust promoter. Yeah, go for it. Uh, dude, it's Everdread. Uh, aren't, aren't you Ness? I, I can't see too well. Everything's so blurry. You're Ness, aren't you? It's me. We, we met in Tucson. Everdread from Brooklyn Park. You must remember, I'm the best thief around. That car painter in Happy Happy Village was hiding something. <laughs> Strange. I stole it and thought about selling it in the big city. An old or city-wise man called it Manny Manny. It's a strange colored doll-looking thing. <laughs> I'm in pain. And Monatoli tricked me and stole it from me. He tricked a thief. He wanted me out of the way because I know his secret. He gets his evil power from that statue. Listen, if you tell, I'll tell you only once. At the cafe, check behind the counter. <coughs> I said I'd tell you only once, but if you insist, I'll tell you once more. <coughs> do, do you want to hear it again? No, man, I'm good. Before I go, here's my last haiku poem. When on your way out, be sure that you say goodbye, then lock the door tight. This is my final request. Don't follow me. It must be... I must be on my way. Whoa. So... Long. Oh, he was fine. He's a faker. <clears throat> Do you like that? I felt like that was a pretty compelling performance. What do you do? He just like punched that bitch in the face. Interesting. All right. Well, you know, he's not dead. I thought he may have tossed on. Yeah, I was trying to talk to the other lady. No. Oh, is that what they all say? You should really go to the hospital like other sick people do. You must be a dangerous kid. I bet you're on your way to Jackie's Cafe right now. Just so happens I am in it. You know, Everdread kind of hooked us up at some point. So, uh, why not? Let's, uh, let's see what's going on back here. What did he say? What? Does Mr. G... No, dude, I know, I know. What's behind the bar? What did he say? Maybe I should have listened to him twice. Oh, my God. Oh. What the fuck? Oh, shit! 
No, that's right. I am the host here. Oh, shit. We got fucking jumped. The Robo Pump. Look at that background, man. So, this is one of the probably the coolest areas in the entire game. One of the most memorable, at least. Whispered 3. Murmured 2. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. He's going to fuck us. He's going to blow up. He's going to blow up. Okay, thank God. Yeah, so he'll blow up after the count of three. So, you know, be very, really want to wallop on that dude. <clears throat> like I was saying, though, this is probably one of the most memorable areas in the game. Uh, it's actually kind of hard to navigate. This whole part is pretty cryptic, so bear with me uh, while we explore here because I'm not exactly an encyclopedia. Uh, if you want an encyclopedia's worth of Earthbound knowledge, you should go watch Tucker Conroy's playthrough. It's a great one. I don't know. You know, you probably don't need me to tell you about Chugga Conroy, but it's awesome. So check that out. So we're kind of going to be fumbling around here because, like I said, it's kind of cryptic. But with all the prelude out of the way, let's uh, let's go ahead and you know see what these guys are up to. Yes is no, and no is yes. It makes perfect sense in Moonside. Yes, that's wrong. I am the hostess here. Wait, I wanted to talk to Jackie. What do you got to say? No, that's right. I am the host here. Wow. What? Foreside? Are you still sleeping? This is Moonside. Wow. Okay. <clears throat> Look at that. Now isn't that fucking some striking SNES imagery right there? We got some fucking H.R. Geiger looking shit here. Abstract art. Okay. I love the background of the enemies in Moonside. So this can actually be kind of a tough area as well. Um, one I was looking forward to though. It's pretty cool. Um, it's very cryptic, like I just said, with that whole prelude, uh, which we'll figure out. So basically what we're going to do for now is we're just going to kind of wander around. Uh, do you understand all this? So no is yes, and yes is no. I do not. No, you don't. To tell you the truth, neither do I. What do you say? Oh, oops. If I say yes, I understand this. Good. I'm glad you get it. Man, there's some real slow down here. Welcome to Moonside. Welcome all to Sumide. Moonwell at Cumside. Ugh. Lots of enemies here, too. Okay, we got a new enemy here. The Enraged Fireplug, although you can't really see his sprite, which is unfortunate. Um, we're gonna actually... Try to wallop these guys pretty quick. I want to take that robo pump out. ASAP here. As you do. Oh, the robo pump didn't give a fuck about that. Damn, look at that. That's some damage right there. Especially to our poor buddy Jeff. Actually, Jeff might need a. Yeah, he definitely does. Holy shit. I'm surprised he's not dead. Oh, this might not be good, guys. This might not be good at all. That countdown and shit. Jeff's, he's pretty weak. He might die in another attack again. Oh my god, this is brutal. We're fucked. We're fucked. <laughs> We're so fucked. <laughs> oh no. Oh my god. We're fucked. I knew it. Oh Jesus. Oh. This is our first game over in a while though. Oh, we're dead, aren't we? Yeah, see? Okay. <sighs> I told you this was a rough one. Okay, so we are back. That actually took me a minute because I hadn't created a save <laughs> before we got to Moonside. Before we fought the department store spook was the last save I made, so that kind of sucked. I wanted to show off a few discrepancies in our inventory now. I decided to buy a few more big bottle rockets uh, and keep the rust promoter that we have. Uh, and instead, I bought a banana at the department store and gave that to the pig pen looking kid who wanted something. Uh, but we'll get right back to what we were doing. Uh, let's talk to this Duke Nukem looking. Uh, I said let's talk to this Duke Nukem looking MF right here. Hello and goodbye. So that is the main form of travel around uh, Moonside. As uh, unfortunate as that is, is... You talk to Duke Nukem's, the various Duke Nukem's around Moonside, and they'll fucking throw you around town. And then you kind of just gotta 
find the right way to go. So there may be some cuts in this video uh, for redundancy's sake if I, uh, you know, talk to the same guy multiple times by mistake. But you can find some items here. Protein drink. Oh my god. You don't want a refreshing herb, dude. How about Jeff? Yeah, exactly. But we will take a protein drink. Um, see, there's like weird invisible walls around here. But man, Moonside sure is cool. The atmosphere here is neat. Alright. Um, oh, we can't even get to that dude over there. See, that's what I'm saying. These invisible walls, they get a little wacky here. It's kind of tough to navigate this area. It can be a little brutal. Like, can we get to you, dude? No, we can't. Like, what the fuck? Can we get to this guy? Sunglasses weren't, dude. What's up, man? I tell you what I hate in this world. That's pussy. <laughs> Is that right? You hate pussy. Well, you know. Different strokes, man. I ain't mad at you for it. The color, the smell, the taste, the texture. You ruined <laughs> <laughs> oh damn you're a hater man what the fuck hey you know like I said you know, nothing wrong with that <laughs> hello and goodbye Shoo. That was awesome. Oh, we actually need to talk to this guy. You see the Manny Manny statue down there? You fucking really stretch your eye out. You can see it. The Manny Manny statue is up ahead. But I'm going to stop you right here. Don't even think about getting past me. Because you aren't with a guy whose eyebrows are connected and who also has a gold tooth. Okay, well, that's oddly specific. <clears throat> I really got shit to do here, though, man. If you could help out. How may I sharpen you? I just love sharpening. Don't you want me to sharpen? City of Moon, send to Moon. Welcome, welcome, welcome to Moonside. Yeah, creepy place. All right, well, we got to find a dude. Uh... Hey, parking meters, and you're walking around here. Ha <laughs> that's so funny. Welcome to Moonside. Oh, fuck. Oh, hopefully that didn't cut out on the recording there. My capture just went out on my screen here what's going on you got a gold tooth do you know whose bones are display here the answer is your bones my bones 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 bone what's going on here what the fuck holy crap we just had some major technical difficulties i'm sorry about that that was rough a uh, bones bone <laughs> you know fuck it now i don't care uh, what do we got here another flame robo pump yeah okay Hello, it's your dad. You've been out there for a long time now. Maybe none of my business, but don't you think it'd be a good idea if you took a break? No, old man. I'm surprised my phone works here. See, this area, you know, whatever. I'm, maybe I'm wrong. The limited amount I've played of Silent Hill 2. Like the... I like bones. Yeah. Bone, bone, bone. What happens if I say no? Does he get pissed off? Like the soundtrack... Kind of reminds me of some Silent Hill shit. I'm hyped for that Silent Hill 2 remake, though. That comes out here soon. Me and Nicole still were playing Silent Hill 2 <clears throat> together. We're like halfway through it now. I will send you first and then you second to the hospital. Oh, shit. Hey, guys. Um. Well, that's kind of helpful, though. <clears throat> Nothing, I guess. Sorry. Ah, you knew it. That's good. I was just wondering. This place is tripping me out here a little bit. <clears throat> we were playing Silent Hill 2, though. We're like halfway through it. Uh, oh, shit. I forgot yes means no on Moonside. Or yet, I don't even know anymore. Oh, this is, this is fucking me up. We're playing Silent Hill 2, though, and it's it's a good time. The hotel. I think this is where I need to go, if I recall. Phone's off the fucking hook. 
Dad, please, I'm fucking scared. Uh huh, yeah. Nah, I don't want to sleep here. Can we call her mom? Madre? I, uh, I'm pretty, I'm, I'm pretty brave. One sleep period? Oh, fuck, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, God damn it. Oh, listen to that. Spooky. Do they have a paper here? What's up, man? Good morn. Uh, not morning? Uh, here in Moonside, it's always the middle of the night. This is the headline from tonight's Moonside Press. Manny Manny is always Manny Manny at Manny Manny with all Manny Manny Manny. Creepy, man. What the fuck? <clears throat> no, I don't think I need anything. Okay. Ha, everyone is someone, don't you think so? <laughs> Alright. Ness's HP drops to zero. Jeff HP drops to zero. Wow. This is a like I said, look at me. I can sense that you have a controller in your hands. True. Oh shit. This might be an enemy we haven't fought before. Dolly's clock. That's cool. Yeah, again, I can't really speak to. What the fuck? That was freaky. <laughs> This is even, I've played this game like two or three times, man. Uh, this is, uh, it's working on me. It's kind of wigging me out a little bit. Not wigging me out, like actually, like I'm fucking losing my mind, but it's fucking bizarre though. I tell you what. Um, holy shit. What do you gotta say? If you stay here too long, you'll end up frying your brain. Yes, you will. No, you will not. In so, no, you won't. Huh. Oh, we're back at the cafe here. Wow. I don't know. This place is really cool, though. It's kind of... I'm falling in love with it all over again. Again, I am just wandering around. I don't really know where I'm going, but... I was trying to say something about Silent Hill 2. Uh, you know, I think it's a pretty freaking rad game. I like it. I really like the story and the horror. It fucking creeps me out, you know, me and Nicole. But, uh... The gameplay, man, I can't get past it. I mean, it's just dated. 257, 257, whatever. So what's your problem? If you don't want to get any... If you don't want anything, get out of here. I'm counting backwards. What happens when you reach zero, dude? I've kind of been by the Dinosaur Museum. But what I'm really excited for this updated version. I know there was a lot of controversy around some of the trailers, but as more and more has come out, man, I get so excited for it. It's probably my most anticipated game this year. Nest leveled up. 25, nice. That is helpful. And basically, what I was saying is it kind of reminds me of uh, the vibe here. The dreamlike atmosphere reminds me of Silent Hill 2. And the little sound effect cues as well. Night pendant. That is actually very helpful uh, for the time being. I do know that. Great charm. We want the night pendant. Let's see. I'll, uh, I'll actually check on the night pendant and tell you what we're, what we're going to be able to accomplish with it. Um, night pendant help. Oh, sorry. It absorbs the light of a flash attack. Okay. Yeah, well, so for an upcoming encounter, as you would imagine, it's very helpful. Oh, get me out of here, Duke. <laughs> Those guys always, I thought, looked like Duke Nukem. We got another person up here. Handbag strap. Too much shit. Can we get rid of anything? I guess we'll go ahead and get rid of the rust promoter. It's not really that helpful anyways. The handbag strap, I do know, can inflict... That's a unique looking sprite. Have we met her before? I spy with my little eye. Alakazam! I see a country in summer and a big silver ball. You're burnt, but you're fine. That is what I see. Huh. Oh, there was the Manny Manny right there. Oh, here's that prostitute again. Before the soup gets cold, we must care for Manny Manny. Before the knife gets rusty, we must care for Manny Manny. There's all kinds of presents. Hello and goodbye. Shall I? 
Welcome to Moonside. Welcome to Moo 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 Moon in the sun, Sunside. What do we got here? Secret herb. So I accidentally earlier threw a secret herb away, and I believe that actually is a revive item, so we're gonna want that. Although, man, we just got our inventories crammed packed, and I want most of this stuff. Like all of it, really. We'll use the skip sandwich. Secret herb. Now, can you help me? And goodbye. Where are you going to send me? Oh, here we go. This is actually where we want to go. I'm really busy doing nothing, so I don't have time to talk to you. If you need something, talk to my partner. He's right over there. See? You mean you can't see him? Oh, I can see him. Can you see me? Haha, <laughs> you can, huh? <laughs> You've become a real moon sightian, haven't you? Here's your hat. What's your hurry? I actually don't know. We need this guy to follow us around. No. I'm not going to find one, so get out of my face, loser. Oh. Okay. Haha, <laughs> it's me. You can see me, right? There's something inter interesting about you, so I'm going to follow you. Don't worry, though. <laughs> if you get into a fight, I'll stay out of it. Well, I wouldn't mind the help, man, to be honest with you. Hey. Yeah, I can't see you, dude. Not right now. Okay. <laughs> hey, don't you wish you had a gold tooth like mine? Give me a smile. <laughs> okay. Smile, smile. <laughs> Fuck you. Shut up, dude. Don't you think my eyebrows rock? Check them out. They're connected. So, I believe the old fucking Sailor Man, Popeye the Sailor Man, was down here. Fucking, you're crazy if you don't think I'm saving right now. Popeye the Sailor Man, are you down here, pal? Oh, he is. So, this is what we need to do. The Manny Manny, the Manny Manny statue is up ahead, but I'm going to stop you right here. Huzzah! <laughs> you really surprised me. Yeah, the man whose eyebrows are connected and who has a gold tooth. How about we dump these kids and go get something to drink? He's Shrek. Oh, fuck. No, 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 no. Oh, I really didn't want to fight him. <laughs> so after that fight, or while in that fight, of course, I realized Ness is fucking homesickness. He's got homesickness, even though we just called his mother. So that's awesome. And both very well. For <laughs> What's coming up? Oh. Um, I also took the liberty of healing them both to max here. And we're going to interact with this uh, old man with the, the mysterious statue we've seen around Eagle Land. Don't do anything to me. I I am not Monotoli. It is a golden statue that you have seen before. What the fuck? Evil Manny Manny attack. So this is pretty cool. We're actually fighting the statue now. Uh, the item that Gygus has been using to spread his evil influence across Eagle Land and the towns we've been in and saved. So we're gonna really just try to wallow up, uh, wallop them. Uh, PSI magnet, dumbass. Jeff doesn't have any PP for an all-knowing statue. You should have realized that. We're really gonna try to take him out pretty quick. We're actually pretty good on items, so uh, I I guess I'll use another big bottle rocket. If not now, then when? Oh fuck! <laughs> That's all it took. God damn. Those big bottle rockets are broken. I need to actually start playing the game. Well, what? <laughs> I got that knight pendant earlier. He can use a PSI flash beta, which is called Glorious Light, I believe, which can, has the chance to instantly kill a party member. Um, so whoever has the knight pendant equipped is immune to flash. So it's good to give it to Ness, you know, because he's the healer, blah, blah, blah. Of course, we didn't see that. What are you going to do? Uh... <laughs> they are embarrassing. The Manny Manny statue was actually a device that created illusions. The illusion device was destroyed. Okay, it just says it again. Interesting. Well, where are we at? This little mouse. You were wandering around the warehouse with a vacant, faraway look in your eyes. Were you daydreaming? We're doing something. Oh, shit. 
Hello, this is Applekin. I've come up with another wacky invention that I think has real potential. Maybe you won't, but anyway, it's called the Gourmet Yogurt Machine. It makes many different flavors of yogurt. The only problem is, right now, it can only make trout-flavored yogurt. So I'm having the machine delivered to you via Escargo Express. It's coming neglected class. Hopefully I'll get it soon. Yeah, everything is... Interesting. Well, we're out of, we're out of fucking Moonside now. That, that was a fun little jaunt, huh? Um, well, with that being said, oh fuck, I lied. Little monkey here. Okay, well, with that being said, that's like my catchphrase. I say that a lot in my Let's Plays. Uh, that was fun. Thanks for exploring Moonside with me. We've got a nice little cliffhanger. What's up with this dead monkey? He's burnt to a crisp. Trout flavored yogurt? I mean, come on. You gotta watch the next one. But, you know, just tease and don't watch it. I don't give a frick. I do care. Please do. Um, well, take care. Take it easy. See you later. Bye.